He is also uh, of Singularity University, and I, I was on a short course there uh, a couple of months back. And um, after coming away from there, I, I had this crazy idea, which I called Peter about. It turned out he'd had the same idea. Um, and um, to cut a long story short, uh, we're here today to join forces and announce the creation of a new X Prize um, and ask your help in figuring out the, what the rules of it should be. Because here's the concept. Um, an artificial intelligence X Prize presented by TED to be awarded to the first artificial intelligence able to come to this stage, present a compelling TED talk good enough to win a standing ovation from you, the audience. So we're agnostic as to how that talk might be presented. Um, could be a robot strolling onto the stage, or an avatar, or a disembodied sexy voice. Um, and the standing O criterion is intended really just as a, as a sort of powerful symbol for the standard the talk should aspire to. It assumes an audience briefed appropriately to be skeptical, um, and the other measures are in place to prevent the contest gamed. Peter, you've put some thoughts into how this might go. So any X Prize, the rules are the DNA of the competition. Uh, what the rules are determine whether we get the results we want. So at the end of the day, we're in the middle, and actually the beginning of that design. So the question is, what should it be? Should it be during the year that you all throw out topics, and we collect 100 different topics, and then during the day where the AI is on stage, we go through those and you randomly select one? And then should the AI have five minutes to get a talk ready, 30 minutes to get a talk ready? And then present it, should be three minutes, 18 minutes, how long should it be? Maybe you vote with your feet, and then afterwards, Chris, you do one or two questions, then maybe some experts add their opinions in. What might that be? So the current thought is that um, each year we might bring two finalists to, to the stage and um, um, you know, give a smaller award to the best effort that year based on your response. Um, and uh, sometime in the future, I mean, this might take 20 years, who knows, um, when an AI truly delivers a compelling TED talk that encapsulates a genuinely new idea, then you will rise and we crown the winner with a major prize. Um, so I guess if we're successful, it's a way for us as a community to kind of track uh, the growth of, of AI um, to discover what computer intelligence really might do, and maybe also to discover some things that it can't do. Um, along the way, we hope it will spur you know, new education opportunities, um, possibly contribute to the way in which people and computers work together to great things, and generally contribute to the powerful dissemination of great ideas. So we've been going out to speak to some amazing people, uh, Ray Kurzweil is going to have to decide whether he wants to sort of advise or compete. Uh, Sebastian Thrun, Nicholas Negroponte. What we'd like to do here is ask the TED audience for your input. Uh, we've created a website, it's just xprize.org slash TED. And at this site, tell us, do you think it's a good idea? Uh, do you, you know, how long a TED talk should it be? Uh, how do we select the topics? Uh, ultimately, you know, how long should the AI have to prepare? And then, you know, do you think this can be gamed? And how can we prevent it from being gamed? And then finally, if you have a set of rules you'd like to put in, please join us. We'll be taking this content. We'll be coming together with Chris and the team from TED and our advisors and announcing what we hope will be a great X Prize supported by you, the TED audience. Peter, thank you. It's going to be great fun working with you on this one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.